Hello and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Right, we are leaving off exactly where we were last time, so we have the general outline of our field here ready to go, uh, as well as some trees ready to be cut and transported. Right, so we'll hop on to the Super Tiger, fire it up. Alright, oh, doesn't look like we'll need our fancy uh, Husqvarna um, uh, helmet, so we can switch to the hat. Um, yes, right, we will just get started on the rest of the field. So this is, uh, well, not to put it lightly, but this is quite an undertaking. Um, I have definitely created quite uh, a job for us here. Uh, this tractor handles this with absolutely no problem whatsoever. Um, I will try and make certain to maximize my furrows. I'm not very good at plowing, to be completely honest, especially with a non-reversible, even with a reversible. Um, so we'll probably just keep going as we're going. I believe I'm plowing this the right way. I know there is a wrong way, and there is a right way. Um, and then there's my way, so I reckon <laughs> hopefully it's alright. Um, it'll be, it'll make a big difference. Even this, this second pass is already making it seem like it's less of a daunting task. As long as I don't look inwards to the field, uh, then it should be alright. But yeah, we're getting rid of all of this grass, all of this brush, all the weeds, all the uh, wild flowers, which I'm not against. We will be planting something fresh in here, but in time. Right, so, this, uh, the articulated <laughs> the articulated uh, tractor is quite funny with the, the plow, actually. It uh, moves around quite funny. Right, we did miss a bit here. I reckon it was because of the out-of-bounds area. But we'll try and line it up nicely for us. Whoop. There we go. And uh, we'll tidy up any bits that are remaining afterwards, because certainly there will be bits remaining. Yeah, like that, for example. So I would like to try and go as far over as I can. Again, maximizing the uh, all furrows, because if I was going to do it just uh, with two furrows, then I might as well get a cheaper plow. Actually, this is the cheapest plow I could find, so not a problem. And it's working fantastic. The nice thing about having it ploughed one time is that when we put in a new crop, we are able to simply cultivate it the next time. So that's very good. I don't think we'll have to cultivate it this time. We obviously don't have a cultivator, so we won't be doing that. Um, but as it stands, we are making some decent progress uh, as far as ploughing. So this may take some time. We will probably throw this on a time lapse as well just to ensure that it gets done in a timely manner. Um, I am tempted to try different timescales, but I reckon 5 is going to be really good to get us started. Um, if it seems to be too long, then so be it. I can make it shorter, and also if it's too, uh, too short as well. So far it seems to be quite manageable. But uh, with this series, for example, I have no uh, real no rules, I guess, on the time with my Fruling series. Uh, I've decided to yeah, keep it at 5. Um, I have uh, made it go uh, quicker, but not slower. No less than 5, but very rarely do I go over 5 times anyways. For this series though, 5, 3, 1, 10, doesn't matter. Whatever we need. Right. Well, by the time the field is fully ploughed, it will seem like a much... I believe it'll look smaller than when it's not ploughed. Uh, the tall grass and not being able to see the ends of the, uh, of the field do make it seem to be a lot bigger than it is. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see once it's all ploughed. So yes, we will carry on with this uh, in a time lapse, see how far we get um, in a minute or so.
Right. Well, we uh, we are making some progress, and we're definitely missing bits. Um, not paying attention to behind us. <laughs> right. So as I've said, yeah, I'll just clean up all these little bits afterwards. We are definitely getting along. I do feel like we only have about half of the field completed, if not less than that. Uh, it is taking time, but that's all right. Uh, this will be a very good yield for us, a very good and very, very profitable uh, crop once it is... Oh, this bit I cannot abide. Uh, it will become a very profitable crop. Don't worry about it. Little bits here and there. Once it's all done, uh, I was tempted to cultivate as well, but I might just put the first crop in before that. Um, it is a bit it's just, it's a bit bumpy, if you see the, the tractors bouncing all over the field. So I reckon, well, we'll just have to see what happens, but I, I would like to make a seed drill the next investment. I'm not entirely certain how much that's going to cost us, though. Um, probably have a look around for a, a small one, because I bet you anything that's our base game seed as well. We could have a look right now. Um will not be able to, yeah, so 3 meters and 125 horsepower, 70 horsepower, 90, yeah, so we'll have to find something else. What is that? That's very, these are two new crops, I know what that is, but I don't know what that is. Let's have a very quick look at the, oh wow, yeah, so we are making some progress here, it looks very nice. The little sections we've missed, not a problem. Right, let's go to the... Uh, right, let's go. That is amazing. We have hemp on this map, and cranberries, blueberries, carrots, and rye as well. That is fantastic. Yes, lots of grass. Right, well, why not make hemp our first crop if we can drill it in? Let's do that. Right, let's carry on. That's very exciting. Yeah, hemp is an amazing, amazing plant. You can make so you can fibers that you can get from hemp fibers making clothes. That would be an amazing production to uh, have on this uh, on this map. There are many product. There, well, I have been focusing primarily on doing uh, certain productions on my uh, fooling series, but with this one, there are new productions that I could probably look at. So yes, we'll have to look more into that. At the moment, though, our main focus is to earn money from wood and crops. So it'll, we'll be selling any hemp that we get directly uh, as the base product, and then uh, maybe in the future we'll be able to make hemp clothing. We'll have to see. Or hemp paper. All of it is very possible. Right. We'll carry on with this. Uh, stick it on a, another time lapse. These kind of jobs, they have to get done, and this is the early days of the survival challenge anyway. It's going to be a very, uh, you know, it, it, a fairly slow start, um, especially with the 1.3 meter plow, and I have potentially overcommitted uh, to the space that I wanted to plow anyways, but again, it will reap the rewards once we have it harvested, so in time, and yes, of course, we'll need to uh, get the harvester sorted as well. Uh, we should probably look into that because, it, yeah, we'll have to look into that as well <laughs> before we get carried away with what we're drilling because we still need to purchase seed as well. So we might only do a small section of this field, um, but we'll have to see. Right, we'll crack on with it, and uh, we'll see you when it's all ploughed up. Well, we are definitely making progress. That We just have that little section and this section left to go. What I'm going to do, though, and I've been having a think while I've been plowing this land, and I reckon I will actually turn the time up to times 10. 
There is times 6, I just don't know how much faster that really will go. We'll try times 10 because I do want to ensure that we're having proper progress as well. Because I don't want to be... I don't want to spread too... too many days across too many episodes. Right? Or too... you know what I mean? I'd rather keep it a little bit um, quicker on the progression as far as the time goes because at the end of this day, yes, we could probably have the, the crop put in um, before the end of the day, so maybe we will put it back to six times, and then at least it can start growing in the next month. Uh, so just to remind you as well, the crop calendar does not exist because we have seasons uh, currently off. So I will carry on with the rest of the ploughing at ten times. We shall see how it goes. Um, I'm half kind of expecting to finish the uh, the ploughed area by maybe four or half four, maybe five at the latest. Um, in which, at that case, we will look at seed drills as well, because I would like to purchase at the very least, get it purchased and get some seed purchased as well uh, before we get started. So we'll have a look at all that once we get this done. Um, this might be. A the, the third uh, and final time lapse um, most likely have some jump cuts in and, in and amongst the uh, <laughs> the plowing because yeah it is uh, quite a lot of plowing as well so we've got it at 10 times we've got the plowing maybe 75 80 percent done maybe more than that um, and we'll have it all done very very shortly Well, as you can tell, we have definitely made some serious progress. Look at the massive difference uh, just in, I mean, the landscape alone. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's wild. It looks fantastic. I'm very excited to put a crop in. Um, I have also decided that now that we are nearing 5 p.m., that I will drop it down to six times and observe and see how that works for us. Um, <coughs> As it stands, I uh, I think five might be better for when we have a bit more set up, and ten is just a bit rapid. Um, so maybe we can put it on ten if we're doing uh, logging or something like that. But we'll we'll sort all that out in time. Uh, just want to enjoy the challenge, and so far so good. So we do have a little bit left to do here. Uh, we'll clean up the rest of the field. Uh, once we're done that, we will... I was tempted to take a tree down to sell on the way to the shop, and we might have to, depending on the price of whatever seed drill I can find, because we might not even have one available until we get some more wood cut, so, uh, as well as the seed itself to fill the drill. So what we'll do is we will take the tractor down to the shop once we are done with a trailer or not of wood still remains to be seen so we'll finish this up I may even just uh, tidy everything up off camera very quickly and then we will uh, do some some seed drill shopping all right well we uh, we've managed to finish the whole field this handy little 1.3 meter plow has given us a huge advantage in our survival challenge. Look at that. So we definitely could have done more on that side. Um, could have come a lot further in. But that is fine for now. In fact, I think... I think for the time being, I'm going to just leave my... I mean, really, where can I put my implements? Oh, I should make certain too. There we go. Limit to fields. Yes. Because when it comes to putting this down, I don't want it to... Oh, why has it done that? That's very strange. 
There we go. Hmm. Well, maybe that'll be where I start putting machines. Anyways, we've got a trailer down there. We do not need it. We will be heading to the shop uh, to purchase our new seed drill, actually. Before we do, okay, we'll probably get try and get in the habit of going around this field now. It's very bumpy to drive through, so the seeding will be a bit difficult. Uh, well, it could be. But anyways, before we do that, I want to show you, so we do need to purchase seed as well, and I think this is going to be the best deal for us. We can get this if necessary, but cedars, right, so this one's, all of these are out of our budget. However, and then I was looking at these ones, and they both look good at 3 meters. Uh, this is the best overall price for 3 meters. However, this original D1 the original seed drill from many years ago uh, is what we're going to use. So <laughs> it is 2.1 meters, so it's bigger than the plow. Thank goodness for that. Uh, we've got a variety of different colors here. So we've got, all oh, right, various greens. Probably go for something, something like that is quite all right. And then the, oh wow, many color options. We could try and keep it red. We'll keep the Amazon Amazon colours. We'll go for the orange. There we go. Maybe it's more no, it's more yellow. Right. Whatever. It doesn't cost anything extra, so um and then that we will change. Oh, that could be orange as well. That looks quite quite sharp. Actually with the with the red Maybe we should go for a red instead. It matches up nicer. And I'm going to try one last thing. Ooh, that's quite nice. It's like Christmas. Right, design. So that will put their logo on the top. Oh, for extra. Well, there you go. That's only £50 more. So £2,800 is what we will be paying for our seed drill. Which leaves us with £1,505, which we will use for a big bag of seed. Well, actually, let's see how many it takes. 250, so that would be 250 pounds. So yeah, we might as well get a big bag of seed. It's cheaper anyways in the long run. We'll get the one for now. And we're off. So we will see you at the shop. All right, so there is our relic of a seed drill. Oh, look at that. It's it's amazing how it's run off the gears and all that. Very cool, so it should attach no problem. Beautiful. We shouldn't have any issues. Oh, wow, look at that. None whatsoever. Right, but we will open it up. And we'll get some seed in. Strange. Okay, there we go. So we will close that up and we'll change the seed type all the way to hemp. Fantastic. Right, let's see how it fares driving up this hill. It's quite a. It actually looks massive on this tractor, does it not? It looks massive on this tractor. But it should work just fine. Um. I know that this is primarily a vineyard tractor anyways, um, but yes, <laughs> it seems as though it, uh, it's going to get some quite a bit of farm work done before uh, we get a new tractor. The other thing I was thinking about is that we need a place to stay this evening. Oh my gosh. Right, so it is actually devastating for this tractor. I'm just seeing now that uh, hills and articulation and seed drills are not friends. So I need to go very slowly up this hill so as to not aggravate the weight in the back. I don't think we have the option to add any sort of weight onto the front unfortunately. But once we're on flat ground we'll be absolutely fine. Even here we should be alright. Okay, we'll carry on. Uh, hopefully that stays fine. Right, we don't have anywhere to stay this evening, speaking of staying places. And 
I've been looking into it, and we might end up just pitching a tent for now until we can uh, build ourselves a small house or a small cabin, uh, which would be ideal. But for now, we will be camping, it seems. Right, yeah, once we're on that flat ground, it's absolutely fine. Got pretty good uh, traction as well. We're not, f well, we're not going to be turning very sharply uh, when it's in the field anyways, so should be alright. So yes, we'll see you at our new field. Alright, well we are returning to our uh, yard, if you want to call it. There it is, my with my high-tech uh, 1.3 meter plow. Oh, this is very, this will present many problems it seems. We'll just have to see how it gets on. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're on a hill. I reckon it'll be fine if we're not reversing or moving too much other than forwards. So I will park this here for now. As again, this is my temporary yard. Uh, and I can shut that down as well. Oh, I suppose I should bring the trailer up. Up the hill. Just, I don't know how how high the water can get up. I reckon it won't go too far above the uh, the rocks and that, but this is why I decided to stay up here instead of start down here. Could do some fishing or something down here later on. But for now, we'll keep everything up here just in case. And it looks nice and it keeps all of us all of our items in one tidy little place. Unless you put it in front of stuff, that's alright too. But now we need a place to put our our tent, because that's what we're sleeping in this evening. And then we will get started on the field first thing in the morning. Right, so I reckon we'll put it right here for now. It's out of the way, but also has a very beautiful view. Um, let's do that. Actually, yes, let's do that right now. So farmhouses and tent. Right, so we just we just can't afford the uh, the lovely little cabin there, but we will look into some other options as well. Um, but I think for now, if we can place this for less than why is it so expensive? Oh, is it because it's on a hill? Oh wow, yeah, it is. Right, well, maybe we don't want to wake up that close to the uh, the edge, anyways. So. Wow. It's more of an incline than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> right. Just don't want it in my driving path. Okay. And... Right, well, I do want to keep it here, actually, to keep it away from the wind and such, but I'll pay the extra five pounds. Perfect. And there we have our tent. Right. Well, I think that's it for this episode, but we have got all the plowing done. We have a, a beautiful collection of implements and vehicles and such coming along now. Very excited to get the D1 in the field and start drilling some hemp. Very exciting. Right, well, that is the end of the episode. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care, and bye for now.